<laughs> Actually, video guys. It's video. Oh. <laughs> All right. Man, that bell pepper smells delicious. And then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do different cuts. Probably a batonet, which is one fourth, just like that. That's your batonet cut. Julienne, a bunch, a lot thinner. So, like, have you ever cooked table? Like, yeah, I'm bad. So picky. I couldn't see you. I can't see. Can we can do me, 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 me. So, like, have you ever actually cooked a really bad? Yes. Well, it wasn't with a knife, it was with a mandolin. What's a mandolin? What is that? Um, a mandolin? Oh. Yeah, it's just a shape. Oh. Um, I remember it was. It was a new menu item, it was peaches. Uh, it was a peach salad. And we were just going through it. We had, we had uh, 140 covers that, that dinner service. And I had like three peach salads. And, I was like, and then, um, how did I do it? I had to like use my middle finger like too fast. So it just, like a big slant cut just like got off my middle finger. It was bad. What's it called? Uh, my chef saw it and he was like, go downstairs and like clean up. And then. Uh, Do you have to throw that food away? Yeah, that's what sucks. That's what sucks about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll show you the that's, that's, what, that's what sucks about it because like I just made three dishes and now they have to go in the trash. So, and then like nobody's on my station. So I get back up and there's like two screens full of stuff. And then now I have a bloody finger and still have to work. So. That was a tough day. <laughs> but, um, I've never, I've, I haven't cut my finger in a long time just because of the technique I use. It's called claw. Um, basically, you push your knife with your middle finger and then you keep all your tips away from the knife. So, I mean, I'll just show y'all right now. Just like that, you would, and then go down, just like that. So you're almost guiding it with your knuckle then? Yeah, okay. just guiding it with your knuckle. Just like that. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Do you get nervous when you get to the end? No, you just slow down. Oh. Okay. Do they time you how fast you just, cut it? Hmm? Do they time you how fast you just cut it? At uh, school? Yeah. Nah. Oh, so it's not speed. It's, not, it's, it's speed you just learn over time. Or um, fast. Am I fast? I can cut a. I mean, you want me to cut a. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, I think I brought a container to put all the stuff in. Oh, a tip jar? Guys, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. He takes like the homeless man in Austin. <laughs> I take PayPal. Cash up. Cash up. What, what is that? Uh, like a... It's, it's a scooper. Oh my god! <laughs> no, you don't have it. Did you leave? Did you Did y'all put those in your grocery list? No. You said groceries. Oh, that's right. That's right. We'll we'll talk about it later. Uh, probably tomorrow. We got another project. Yeah, yeah. Guys, you know what? He's un unfortunately he's not here for my my favorite personal finance literacy class. So they just have to watch this video. <laughs> Which I was recording very oh. Oh, long. Okay. And then my cutting board's like moving all over the place. Is that a kitchen technique to put a napkin underneath? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, seriously, my mom. Ah, shut up! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
so Fabian, you graduated from Judson two years ago. What advice do you have for seniors um, graduating um, in a few months? Definitely scholarships. Um, try to get as many of those as I can. I got really good scholarships from my school. Um, and that was just getting the general application, um, doing my FAFSA. Um, mm. <laughs> y'all should probably do that. <laughs> um, and now it's like fully paid for um, two years. And wow. I've only paid maybe like $800 out of my pocket for school. Dang. Um, Did you pay for your own supplies though? Yeah, it's about what I paid for. Um, the whole tuition was $64,000 for two years. Um, and I only paid him. Hey, that's really cool. So why not the tip? Why not? Yeah. What do you mean? You well, you get the tip off. Uh, Is that the snack on? I mean, I. Okay. That's just him saying that he eats it. Yeah, I do. I grew up poor. I didn't waste anything. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you about Q later. Oh, no, I already did. I already did. I already did. Q, the banana. Right. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like he's got a, like a a paring knife to shave that off. Or something. What? <laughs> We're very practical and <laughs> we don't like to suffer. Mm -hmm. So who teaches you chefs at the school? Are they chefs or are they yeah. like educators or? They're they're like. 50 plus year experience chefs. Wow. Um, so you're learning from people in the actual industry. Yeah. Okay. It's called really good chefs. Yeah. They definitely know what they're doing. Yeah. Um, it's probably like one that was like, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> so about, um, I'm going to show you all the oblique cut that I mentioned earlier. You would start at an angle, and that cut's just going to be always like that. But um, then you would. I'm out of practice for this one. Because before I used to just like roll it down while cutting it. Oh, really? That's kind of cool. He does it. <laughs> I mean, he'd go to the nurse, duh. Especially give him a bandage. Especially gonna give him a peppermint and ice pack and be like, go back to class. That's what they did at that restaurant. They gave me some water and they were like, all right, get back to the nurse. Anyway, the ropes are about the same size. Um, the first part. <laughs> Y'all laugh, but they have to watch a video of this. <laughs> the first part is not always going to be the same as the last part, just because how thick the um, carrot is, and then the angle is going to be different because you're always going down an angle. But besides that, they will cook all the same. Mm. Um, if you if you put it in a pot or um, usually this is used for glazed carrots. Put some sugar, some orange juice, some chicken stock, um, and some red wine vinegar, and makes a nice glaze. Were you a picky eater before you started school? Um, actually, I was, um, and my palate kind of changed after after like progressing in school. Um, I didn't like tomatoes at all. I hate tomatoes. Yeah. So I guess I gotta go to culinary school. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't say he likes them now. He just said he didn't like them then. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, actually, you did. What's your favorite thing to make? Like, um, right now. Oh, yes. 
don't really like that question. What's the best thing? <laughs> wait, wait, what did you ask? Why not? Because, <laughs> like, everybody asks me that question. What's and I just, I make so many things. And I guess cuisine-wise, Asian food. What's the most casual food you make? Casual food? Like, what's the most thing you like often spaghetti. make? Chicken tenders? <laughs> I do make a lot of pasta. Um, Poblano cream so pasta. So you would say, like, spaghetti, like, is good to eat? Yeah, we're saying that. Because we have a kid in here who said that same thing. And he said, like, you spaghetti, that's your neck. No, but he's not. He doesn't drink water. Where is he? Like, at all. He must have had so much to say today. He's about to get exposed. Is there a chef that you, like, look up to? Like, it's, like, you idolize? Yeah, like, Jason Lee. Not Gordon Ramsay. Not Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay's a cool guy, but. Have you met him? I haven't. Oh, okay. Do you want to? Nah, he said, do I want to? Yeah. Do you oh, consider him like, like a chef? Or do you think he's just like entertaining people? Both. Uh, I think she has the experience, like, he's a great chef, but now he's like moved up to an entertainment life. Mm. Um, and that's cool. Um, you don't always want to be on the line working your butt off your whole life. Um, it's better to progress as a person. And he did good at what he did. What made you want to cook? Maybe you want to cook? Just my passion um, for for food, um, and I think just um, San Antonio. Do you really know like a really good place, food place? Mama Marge is dust. Sobs. Sobs. So, you know what, Fabian, you went to school a non-traditional route. You did not do the four-year university like it's probably highly encouraged by most teachers. Did you find a pushback from either parents or teachers for going a, a non-traditional route? Um, I guess from our counselor. Is she still here? And, uh, the college counselor? What's her yes. Name? Cortez. Cortez. Yeah, Ms. Cortez. She got, like, furious that I was going to... <laughs> <laughs> To the culinary institute, she was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and she was like, <laughs> "She was so." And she was like, "Why wouldn't you rather go to St. Phillips? Like, especially with the um, Hello promise. promise." She was like, "You can do two years free," and I was like, "Oh, but I already have this cool scholarship. It's gonna pay like my whole tuition." And she was like, "Yeah, but you can apply for more schools." And I was just like, "This is what I want to do." Is there a difference between your program and I guess the one at St. Phillips? Really? Um, I, when I was in, uh, when I was working at Emma, I knew a few St. Philip's graduates that mm -hmm. were culinary students. Um, and they were like, it, it was an okay program. Um, they learned more in the kitchen than they did over there. Okay. So after hearing that, I was like, man, I made a good choice because yeah. I feel like I've learned so much really? just from school. And when you say school, do you take math and science history yeah. courses? I'm actually taking math right now. So. Oh, interesting. Wait, did you know you wanted to... Um, can you say that louder? Because like, I don't know if the camera picked up. <laughs> <laughs> Man, why did I laugh? Type it on the side, text message. Did you know you wanted to come to that school? Um, I didn't know that. I just knew I wanted to go to that school. I was going to go to that I was in Mr. Bourbois' class. Oh. And I was just like, man, this is really cool. But then um, I had like a change of heart, um, learning about um, just like how expensive film school was. And it kind of just like threw me down. I was just like, man, it's not really what I want. I like cooking more. So I was just like, I found out about the Culinary Institute of America, what they do, how professional they are. Um, and it's a great school. So I was just like, I'd rather do that. Did you apply for your scholarship? Like, did you? Yes. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> your name's Fabian? Guess what? We got 80 grand for you. <laughs> uh, what is the one thing you've learned about yourself in the past two years? Um, I know I've asked you this one on one, but in front of the, like the kids. What's the one thing you've learned about yourself? I did. It's, it's generally my opening question when we have lunch. Um, I guess how to express myself more. Oh, um, okay. In in high school, or I was very quiet. 
a very quiet person. I still kind of am, but now I'm able to talk in front of a whole class. I couldn't be able to do that uh, a few years back. Um, yeah, I would have been stuck. Oh, no. <laughs> but um, I think me as a person, how I can express my emotions, not only through cooking, but how, but through speech as well, um, I'm able to do that now, and I can't do that. Do you ever get fast food? Like, fast food? Yeah. Okay. It's still good. Um, <laughs> I mean, he still works. He still has to go. Do you critique it when you eat it? Or, like, you just eat it? Um, like, oh, do you think, like, like, how can I make this better? Like, do you ever, like, judge it? Oh, yeah, all the time sucks. Hey, dude. Don't make this guy mad. Don't make this guy Guys, I didn't make the food. I don't eat it. I just ate it. <laughs> I was like, mm -hmm, I'll eat it. Have you, ever, have you ever tried making food with fast food? Like using it? Like say you no, but I've seen like TikTok. Yeah, how they do it on TikTok? You don't do it? No, I don't do it. Oh, you try it. On oh, TikTok? Oh, you can make a food. <laughs> yeah, you've never seen it on TikTok? I don't have a TikTok. Uh, oh. Like they buy like oh, food and then they like make it something else out of it. You've seen the Arby's on TikTok? They get like an Arby's sandwich and then they like grab a pit and start cooking on something. Oh, that's kind of cool. They do that with, I know someone that does it with like steak. What's something that like what time is it? you want to make but you don't like how it turns out? A dish that you want to make but you don't like how it turns out. Um, good question. Of course, it's good. Uh, I guess ramen. Oh, but like yeah, traditional, oh, oh, <laughs> not like cup noodles. Though. <laughs> I have a uh, question. Yes, sir. Now that you're uh, a chef, have you, do you, when you go home and you eat mom or dad's food, are you hypercritical of it? Or do you say, like, let me, let me show you how to cook? My mom is sick of me. <laughs> just because I'll go into the kitchen and I look at her cuts and I'm just like, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> you call this food? <laughs> You can do it this way, and she's like, No, I've done it this way my whole life, you're not gonna change it. Okay, <laughs> it could taste better. <laughs> so, you think you're a better cook huh? than mother? She knows that. Oh, okay, <laughs> she knows that naturally. Okay, naturally. Naturally. were you a top 10 student? Top 10 here? No, I wish I was. I should have took school more seriously. Hmm. Okay, any final questions, guys? What's your favorite fast food place? I'm just asking because he asked us at the beginning of the year. He was very judgmental about it. Oh, no, I asked you your favorite cereal. No, you didn't. Because remember we said, Kane was getting on us. Because Kane sucks. Because Kane's good. Kane is good. No, it's not. Kane's is bland chicken with sauce. Kane's a Chick fil A. Chick fil A. You're a bland chicken with sauce. What do you get from Chick fil A, though? Yeah. I usually get a, a spicy chicken deluxe. Yeah. <laughs> you have bacon? With bacon on it. Yeah, bacon on the sandwich. You get fries or mac and cheese? Both. I get waffle fries. Okay. Uh, I have I have a question. What what would you want to do as like in the future? So I know you're 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 cooking right now in hotels. What is your end goal? Like opening your own restaurant, writing a book about being a chef? Um. So right now I have. A business idea. I do have one investor right now. Wow. It's, um, opening a San Antonio Cutlery. Um, I'm thinking about making a pop up at North Star. Yeah. Um, just to sell knives, silverware, plates, and then a knife sharpening service. Um, Interesting. I think a pop up would be better than like a little cart in a store or like buying a property is too expensive. Yeah. So um, I think yeah. renting renting a property as a mall would be cheaper and would probably get more attention. Um, after that, I'm thinking about buying a property and then going from store to supplier. Mm. So now I'll supply um, restaurants with my, my products, with my silverware, with my knives, give chefs knives to test out. Okay. Um, well, that's so my, you, that's you my don't want to cook? Whatever. You don't want to cook? No, I do want to cook. Um, that's just going to be my side business. Oh. Okay. Uh, what I want to make is a restaurant association. Mm -hmm. So if I have a restaurant and say I have a banquet service as well, that's one thing I want to look into. A uh, banquet service, I don't need to buy plates. I can just get them from my, 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 my cutlery. 
Wait, so when you went to college, you moved out right when you went to college, or you stayed with your parents? Stay with my parents. You still stay with your parents? <laughs> 25 years ago when you were at Judson. I know you're 95, but all right. And 